ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the fire chief, David and Daya. Testing, there we go. Um, Stephanie was just backstage with me and she said, oh, this is awesome. This is a very talkative crowd and you get to go out there and bring them under control. So um, I'm actually out here to ask you, if you to welcome you. Uh, good afternoon. And uh, if you would all please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance to begin this afternoon's event. See, it always helps to follow a man in a uniform, right? Everybody gets settled. It's good stuff. Good afternoon, everyone. It is my pleasure to be here. Uh, my name is Stephanie Caldwell. I'm the president and CEO of the Ventura Chamber of Commerce. And welcome to the 22nd Annual Poinsettia Awards. We have a history of this event. Um, obviously, it goes way back farther than the 22 years we've actually been doing the awards. Um, the Poinsettia Award has been given for a number of years for a variety of reasons at the Chamber. And the current iteration is really to celebrate the great work that our businesses, our civic leaders, and folks are doing in the community. So it's really our celebration of our membership and our community and the things that really makes Ventura wonderful. So we do have a great program for you today, quite a few awards. I know that you will know many of the people who are being recognized, and uh, we hope that you will celebrate heartily with them. So thank you to Chief Andaya once again for leading us in the pledge. Uh, for the last as many years as we've been doing this award ceremony, we have also been partnering with the fire department on the Spark of Love campaign. And the idea behind the spark of love is to really bring a little brightness and, and uh, Christmas joy to children who may not otherwise have the opportunity. So we thank our fire department for being so actively involved. But today we thank each of you for helping support this event and bringing the toys that will ultimately get into the hands of the children here in our community. So Chief, can I ask you to join me back on stage? Thank you so much uh, for your service and for being so involved with the Spark of Love. And please accept these toys on the behalf of our members and our community. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you. Yep. Well, thank you again. It goes without saying. Um, I think everyone's discussion for the past few days is where we were at this point last year. And uh, I, I personally couldn't be happier that we have this event on time this year because there's nothing uh, making it get pushed back. So we're together as a community, um, we're here, we're stronger, we're rebuilding as we speak, and uh, this really is about, this is the best example of community that we have, uh, which is basically everyone coming together to support those who don't have uh, what we have to enjoy. And so uh, on behalf of the fire department, the chamber, and all the members here, this is really, I always say, this is really the who's who of this community of, of the city of Ventura. And uh, this, this message that it sends and our ability to deliver these to these kids really is what makes the holidays special. So thank you for being a part of it, and thank you for your contributions and ongoing support year-round uh, of the fire department and of the people that uh, need it the most in our community. Thank you again. Thank you. We are also very fortunate to have a number of our elected officials joining us today. If you'll please help me in welcoming them. Uh, first, we have for the City of Ventura, our Deputy Mayor, Matt Levere. Also for the City of Ventura, we have Council Members Cheryl Heitman, Jim Monahan. and Christy Weir. We also have a newer face to the crowd, our brand new city manager, Mr. Alex McIntyre. From Ventura Unified School District Board of Education, we have Sabrina Rodriguez. And we have city council member elect, Mr. Jim Friedman.
We also have a number of our legislative representatives who are here today, representing State Senator Hannah Beth Jackson, Betsy Cervantes. Hi, Betsy. Representing Assemblymember Monique Lamone, we have Angelica Cisneros. And representing Supervisor Steve Bennett, Mr. Brian Brennan. Thank you all for being here. At this time, I would like to introduce a very special group of people, special to me for sure, uh, and that is our dedicated and very hardworking board of directors. If you are on the chamber board, would you please stand so that we can recognize you for your service? Thank you. And now I get to introduce uh, our illustrious leader this year, the 2018 board chair, my boss, Mr. John Silva. Thank you, Stephanie, as always. Everybody good? Look at everybody in the back. We were packed in. Everyone's eating, happy. Raise your hand, happy. Awesome. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Glad to have everybody here. This is a, this is a real uh, crown event for us. It's exciting when you get together to celebrate the people in our community and the businesses. I do want to start off by recognizing our gracious event sponsors. And, and folks, we've got a, we've got a bunch. And it's a, it's a sign to you. It's a sign to uh, the Stephanie's leadership in the chamber. Uh, but it's really a sign of the strength of our uh, economy and, and the unity that we have uh, amongst our businesses. So I'm going to run through these. I'm going to go fairly fast, but if you could hold your applause, I just want to make sure if you, if you don't applaud on each one or at the end of each list, we'll actually be able to hear them and recognize them, and that's what's most important at the moment. So uh, we do want to start by thanking our title sponsor today, SoCal Gas. Uh, very gracious uh, that they've, they've put, helped us put this on today. Couldn't do it without them. I also want to uh, go through our platinum sponsors. So we have Cal State University Channel Islands, the City of Ventura, Community Memorial Health System, Four Points by Sheraton Ventura Harbor, and uh, Gold Coast Acura, Hofer Properties, Montecito Bank and Trust, and the Ventura Auto Center. Thank you to our platinum sponsors. We also have our gold sponsors, E.J. Harrison and Sons, Ventura Adult and Continuing Education, and Ventura County Credit Union. Our silver sponsors, ERA, ASR Property Restoration, AT&T, and Mortgage Couch. And our bronze sponsors, Bank of the Sierra, Gold Coast Transit, Grocery Outlet, Influence Ecology, Johnson Development Associates, Tolman and Weicker Insurance Services, UCLA Health, Ventura Rental Party and Events, and Western States Petroleum Association. And then last but definitely not least, we have our media sponsors, CAPS Media Center, uh, Dina Pai Creative, Gold Coast Broadcasting, Lunar's Production Services, Pacific Coast Business Times, VC Reporter and Ventana Monthly Magazine, and the Ventura Breeze. Can we let them all know how much we appreciate making this possible? I love that that's such a long list. Awesome. Um, you know, so like I said, this is really kind of a crowning event for our city. I think it's a, a chance for us to not only celebrate sort of our best in class businesses, um, but also to look at kind of our best in breed individuals, the people who are really stepping up above and beyond what would even be expected just to be here, live here, or conduct your business, uh, people that have contributed so much. So today is really a chance for us to kind of tip our hat, thank them, uh, and give a little, as you see here, uh, but also be aware that the nomination process, it, you don't get to really see that part, but uh, in that process, we get all these nominations, and there are a bunch, and the review of them is actually more exciting than perhaps even the award, because there's so many people being celebrated and businesses being celebrated in that process, and it's hard to make those decisions. So know that even if you happen to not get an award today, um, that definitely you were, a lot of you were talked about a lot in very high regard, so thank you. Um, you know, it's funny, my, my wife this morning, she, she couldn't be here today, but she said, she goes, oh my gosh, the Poinsettia Award. She says, you know, you should get, you, are you getting an award this year? And I, I said, no, no. And she said, no, you should get one, like, like the most contributions to the city by one individual. And I, and I was like, well, honey, <laughs> there's some really amazing people in this town. She says, no, because I don't know anybody who gets as many parking tickets as you do. <laughs> so, general fund, you're welcome. 
you guys don't have to be such strong first responders all the time, you know. <laughs> all right, seriously, let, let's get on with the show. We've got a lot of great content to go through and some great individuals and businesses to acknowledge. I do want to move on uh, at this time right now um, in acknowledgement of our title sponsor. We're going to have Maria Ventura up here, who's the public affairs manager from SoCal Gas, to say a few words. Please welcome Maria. Um, good afternoon again. My name is Maria Ventura, I'm the Public Affairs Manager representing SoCal Gas here throughout Ventura County. I thank you all for joining us, the fine work that Stephanie and her team does at the Chamber. Um, let's give them a applause, please. Um, I also like to take the, the privilege and moment to thank my colleagues at SoCal Gas. Please raise your hand that joined me here today. And also a couple of special guests. We're all special, uh, but again, uh, we have the head consul here from the Mexican consulate in Oxnard, Mr. Roberto Rodriguez is here. Um, and I always say I'm gonna get in trouble for this one. My favorite nonprofit is the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Ventura. I have the honor and privilege to work for a company that supports um, employee volunteerism, and I serve as its current board president. So Patty Birmingham, our CEO, is here. Patty, say hello. And just a few words about SoCal Gas. Um, as many as you know, SoCal Gas provides natural gas throughout our service territory that spans the Mexican border to Fresno and along the central coast. But here locally in the city of Ventura, it also does provide the, the venue and the opportunity for folks to heat their water, uh, cook their food, heat their home, that sort of thing. And it's part of a balanced energy approach. Natural gas is used in many industrial processes, and it's also 60% of the electricity produced in the state is produced by natural gas. Here locally in the city of Ventura, we are investing in our infrastructure to continue to provide that safe and reliable energy for our customers. We're investing over $41 million in our infrastructure here, and bear with us, you may have seen some construction work along Telephone Road, um, yeah, what we're doing there is replacing 4.5 miles of pipeline um, and conducting safety-related tests. Um, this is to ensure that the local businesses, homeowners can rely on our energy and also the affordability of natural gas, so we appreciate that. That work is being done by an internal department we call PSEP, that's Pipeline Safety Enhancement Plan, and since 2013 they have invested, get this, not six million, six billion dollars to upgrade our infrastructure to meet the demands of energy in the future. So, um, and also they have replaced over 96 miles of pipelines throughout the state of California. So I really appreciate my colleagues from the PSEP department who are here today to join us. Um, if you have any other questions about the project, you can visit SoCalGas backslash Ventura or call our customer care center at 1-800-427-2200. Don't ask how I can remember these random numbers. Um, I'm kind of surprised too. But again, thank you for your time. And I really appreciate being here with you all. Thank you. Thank you, Maria and SoCal Gas, for your generous contribution today. I appreciate it very much. You know, the chamber is 100% uh, funded by its member contributions. Uh, we went through a lot of our sponsors for today's event a moment ago, but it's, you know, it's through the work of all these member investments that we're able to complete our scope of work for the year as a chamber. Um, and I will say that uh, the chamber's been going very strong uh, with, with a, a good amount of kind of moderate balanced growth. Uh, we have a lot of goals along the lines of uh, looking at growth industries and how we can create demand drivers in the town and contribute to the economic development that's already underway. Um, but you know, without the, without the support of our members, we wouldn't be able to achieve any of that. So I would like to recognize a special group. It's your Chairman Circle uh, supporters. And if you look on the back of the program that's on your table, uh, take a look on the back of that. These are your Chairman Circle supporters, and they're there on an evergreen basis, and it's unbelievably important and vital, and I'd ask you to acknowledge and, and support these businesses. Uh, really important to this, this group and what we even do here today. So thank you for them. Let's give them a round of applause. And now, shall we get on with the show? Fantastic. Stephanie Caldwell. Thank you, John. 
This year, we have continued our partnership with the Ventura Adult and Continuing Education, their video production department, who have worked hand in hand with us to enhance today's ceremony through the use of some video presentations. Several weeks ago, many of our sponsors and presenters went to the VASE studios and under the direction of Rich Sigrist, uh, taped some of the presentations that you'll see in just a moment. We'd also like to thank Dina Pileyette, who is our photographer today. Thank you, Dina. And you'll notice that several of last year's recipients have joined us. They will be actually presenting the awards to this year's uh, award recipients. We also have uh, many of our legislative representatives have presented uh, certificates of recognition for all of our award recipients as well. And so on with the show. Dyer Sheehan Group is a boutique real estate consulting and brokerage firm founded in 1997 by Don Dyer and Paul Sheehan. Specializing in land use and development, real estate market research, brokerage of apartment buildings, investment properties and land, Dyer Sheehan Group also provides consulting services to public agencies, school districts, and corporate property owners. The firm assists home builders and property owners in navigating the government approval process and building political and community support for new development. Dyer Sheen Group has been instrumental in several high profile development projects in the city of Ventura over the past two decades and believes in giving back to the community through contributions and participation with numerous nonprofits and community organizations including Turning Point Foundation, Boys and Girls Club, and Food Share. Additionally, Paul serves on the advisory board for California Lutheran University Center for Economic Research and Forecasting. And Don is not only the founding mother and chair emeritus of the Ventura County Housing Trust Fund, but she also selected by the National Association of Women Business Owners as the 2018 Woman Business Owner of the Year for both Ventura County and the state of California, and was selected as one of the top three women business owners at a national level. Dyer Sheehan Group is committed to the highest level of professionalism and service, and has built its business on long-term relationships and client referrals. They are an advocate for business and responsible growth in our community and the Ventura Chamber of Commerce is honored to present Dyer Sheen Group with a 2018 Small Business of the Year Award. Good afternoon, Chamber. Angie, you want to have like 15 or 20 minutes? No? I've got a great mind reading act here. Let's see, Aunt, ooh, I cannot repeat what she's sending me right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. A, and this is my lovely wife and boss for Sunset Dental. We were last year's recipient award winners for Small Business of the Year. We are here to produce and introduce to you this year's 2018 Small Business Award Year of the Award is Dyer Sheehan Group Incorporated. Well, thank you, everyone. This is very exciting. It's a true honor to be acknowledged by our fellow Ventura uh, business community, by the Chamber of Commerce, the board, particularly John. I've really enjoyed working with John. And Stephanie, wow. Can we all give a round of applause for Stephanie, please? Can you hold that? It's been very exciting to watch the chamber grow in um, its importance in our community under Stephanie's leadership. So thank you so much. We also want to extend our appreciation to the city of Ventura and all of our partners there, both on staff and the decision makers. It's been a real honor and a pleasure to work with the city of Ventura to help our community rebuild and to really um, grow into our vision of the future, to work together to try to create the types of housing that we need to support our workforce in Ventura County so that our local businesses can attract the talent that they need to grow and expand and to be competitive in the world marketplace.
So I just wanted to, again, thank everyone here for your support, uh, not only of our um, nomination today, but of those projects within the community that really make a difference and make our community stronger. We'd also like to thank our families. My husband, Harvey Champlin, and uh, Paul's wife, Jane Sheehan, are both here today. We really appreciate that. And we wish all of you a healthy, happy, prosperous, joyous, and safe 2019. Thank you very much. Ventura Grocery Outlet is a locally, independently run family business on the east end of Ventura whose owners, Amy and Eric Sawyer, share more than 30 years of retail experience. The community and the chamber celebrated the opening on November 9, 2017, and they have grown to employ over 30 local residents. Inventory in Grocery Outlet is 60% opportunistically purchased, so customers enjoy great deals as well as the everyday staple items. From great wine deals to fresh produce to gluten-free and organic selections, a grocery store in the East End of Ventura was much needed. A Chairman Circle member of the Ventura Chamber of Commerce, you can find this business participating in events such as Taste of Ventura and the Spring and Fall Business Expos. Grocery Outlet has jumped into supporting the Ventura community and has worked with Autism Society of Ventura County, Food Share, local schools, Loma Vista 4-H, Carl, Barracks Project West, Rack Life, Satakoy Little League, and more. In fact, this year, customers generously donated over $6,600 during the Independence from Hunger food drive. They went directly to food donations for local children and families. Grocery Outlet sets an example as a business that participates and gives back to their community. They provide a valuable and needed storefront and stock high quality products. The Ventura Chamber of Commerce is honored to present the 2018 Mid-Size Business of the Year Award to Ventura Grocery Outlet. Hi, my name is Charnell Smith and I'm one of the owners of Aloha Steakhouse. <laughs> and it is my pleasure to present, oh my gosh, it is my pleasure to present the 2018 Mid-Size Business Award to Ventura Grocery Outlet. Hey everybody, um, I just want to really uh, appreciate uh, the Chamber for all their hard work and helping us get uh, started up uh, with our grand opening last year. Um, and I really want to thank um, all of our, our employees. Our 35 employees have been doing an amazing job over this last year to get us up and running. Um, and our customers, the support has just been absolutely amazing on the East End um, for us. And so thank you guys so much uh, for everything that you've done for us over this last year. Um, I tell all the other, uh, you know, local um, owners of other grocery outlets what a great city that, you know, that we were able to get in on um, because you guys have been just absolutely welcoming and wonderful, um, and thank you so much. As a longtime member of the Ventura community, ERA Energy's commitment to safe and responsible oil and gas production supports the communities where they operate. ERA is a California company that holds the values of all Californians. They strive to innovate. They celebrate productivity and advocate for preservation of our beautiful state. At ERA, they care about providing the energy and prosperity for all Californians. ERA produces 25% of California's oil and works to develop innovative solutions to meet the energy needs of millions of Californians. 
Here in Ventura, ERA's cutting edge technology responsibly and safely produces oil and gas that contributes to the economic vitality of the region. Their operations contribute nearly $200 million a year to the county's economic health and supports local law enforcement, firefighters, and schools. ERA is committed to making our community better through financial contributions that increase services and employee volunteers who engage with the community. ERA's work has a lasting impact. ERA and its employees helped families impacted by the Thomas Fire through contributions to a local school so children could attend a planned environmental field trip. The company actively supports their neighborhood through activities at the West Park Community Center and they also played a major part in the building of Kellogg Park. Children are our future. That's why supporting education is a critical component of ERA's community work. Their involvement and support of local universities, schools, and educational nonprofits help shape the future of this great county. ERA believes that together we can bring a clean energy economy and is committed to keep California running until we realize that future. California is powered by oil. ERA is powered by safety, innovation, and community, and is committed to making Ventura a special place to live and work. Ventura Chamber of Commerce is honored to present ERA Energy with the 2018 Large Business of the Year Award. Good afternoon. My name is Jeff Suke, president of Kirby Auto Group, recipient last year's Large Business World Award. I'd like to introduce ERA Energy as the 2018 Large Business of the Year. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. And thank you to the Ventura Chamber of Commerce for this incredible honor. We're humbled and proud to be selected as Large Business of the Year. This award says that you believe in ERA's work in Ventura and that this work is as important to you as it is to us as a company. As a neighbor, we partner with our communities to make our hometowns better places to live and work. It's that commitment to helping to build strong communities and neighborhoods that's being acknowledged today. I'd like to take a moment to recognize a few of our employees who are here with me. It wasn't easy to convince them to get all dressed up, <laughs> change out of their safety uniforms, and come today, but I really appreciate them being here. So if they could please stand, I'd like to give them a hand. <laughs> These are the folks that make it work every day, so I am so appreciative for everything they do. They, they, contribute and they give to make Ventura a better community for all of us. So thank you guys so much. We couldn't do what we do without them. So thank you Team ERA and thank you to the Chamber for this incredible recognition. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Bike Ventura is a grassroots organization that is fostering a safe and vibrant community through bicycle education empowerment and advocacy. Their cornerstone program is the Bike Ventura Hub, located on Ventura Avenue where the shop provides the tools and education to our community on how to fix their own bikes. In fact, they've helped over 350 people fix their bikes. It was out of this space that Ventura Bike Hub was able to receive, build, and distribute 200 brand new momentum bikes to Thomas Fire victims. Bike Ventura recognizes that for many people, a bicycle is their only way to get to work, school, or vital services, and many do not have the money to buy or maintain a bicycle. The organization also provides work trade opportunities to homeless and low-income persons to volunteer and earn store credit. This year alone, 23 individuals have earned a new bike by participating in the work trade program. 
Bike Ventura works with local youth to encourage safe riding from a young age. Over the summer, they put on a summer camp in Cabrillo Village where nine kids earned a free bike and helmet after a week of learning about basic bike mechanics, safe riding on the roads, how to choose where they ride, and the right nutrition for riding. Bike Ventura is a gem in the community, and Ventura Chamber of Commerce applauds their efforts to promote a healthy, fun, and clean source of transportation, as well as providing valuable and life-saving education. The Ventura Chamber of Commerce is honored to present Bike Ventura with the 2018 Nonprofit of the Year Award. Good afternoon, my name is Joseph Summers and I am the president of Diversity Collective and we were uh, honored to receive this award last year and it is our privilege to present Bike Ventura with the award this year. Thank you very much. Uh, it is um, humbling to be counted amongst these um, incredible businesses and individuals and receive this award today. And it is uh, really an honor to receive this award um, in this year of rebuilding in Ventura when there were so many nonprofits doing so much incredible work um, for our community and of course um, year after year. Um, <clears throat> we are a nonprofit and we would not be as successful as we are or have had such a successful year without partnering with local businesses and other local nonprofits. Um, and of course, uh, all the support that we received from the community. So when we built the, tom the bikes for Thomas Fire Victims, we had over 60 folks volunteer and help us build those up and get those distributed. We had support from Channel Islands Bike Club to get uh, helmets, lights, and locks to those folks as well. And for that reason, I think that this is just as much um, the City of Ventura's award as much as it is ours, and I'm just really honored and appreciative. Um, for the unabridged version of this speech, uh, we will be celebrating tonight at Leashless Brewery, and I'd like to invite all of you to be there. Um, uh, fellow Poinsettia recipient, recipient Leashless Brewery, so just thank you all very much. This is, this is yours, too. Back in 2014, the Jonker and Becker families saw a need for a new hotel concept in Ventura. With communal space for social interactions, they began finding and restoring aluminum vintage trailers. In June of this year, the families opened Waypoint Ventura, a vintage trailer hotel by the beach. This unique outdoor experience offers 16 fully restored trailers functioning as hotel rooms and 20 full hookup sites for those looking to bring their own vintage retro or Airstream campers. The families wanted to showcase as many types of vintage trailers from the 1940s through the 1970s as possible and are continuing to add more trailers to their lineup as they finish restoring them. The vision for this concept includes creating a premium guest experience. Waypoint Ventura plays with contrasting, unexpected amenities housed within a vintage trailer. Luxuries include the use of frite and matuk linens, Xenology bath products, locally roasted coffee, and a variety of other high-end features to enhance the quality of stay. Each restored trailer offers its own unique ambiance and guests are encouraged to kick back and relax on the trailer's private deck or hang out in the barbecue in the communal areas while taking in the ocean views. Tourists can enjoy the hotel property and then use one of Waypoint Ventura's bikes to explore the beaches, surf spots, hiking trails, and all that downtown Ventura has to offer. Waypoint Ventura is a creative and innovative use of space that has been unoccupied. The owners say while they do have quite a few international travelers who come to enjoy a unique and different experience, they also have many Venturans who just want to have a fun staycation in the city they love. The Ventura Chamber of Commerce was excited to welcome this new business and is honored to present Waypoint Ventura with the 2018 Innovation Award. My name is Marlis Ostra. I'm the president and CEO of Visit Ventura. 
I am super stoked that they got the Innovation Award. So it is my absolute honor to present Waypoint Ventura with the Ventura Chamber 2018 Innovation Award. Thank you. Um, so as I've grown up in Ventura, I've watched the downtown area kind of revitalize over the last couple decades and improve and become more of a destination. And in large part, it's thanks to the fact that for the most part, our businesses are locally owned and operated and they're unique to Ventura. So we wanted to do something that was reflective of that and we're really happy to be a part of the community. So thank you very much. The Young Professional of the Year is in recognition of a member of the Ventura Young Professionals Group who exhibits strong traits in leadership and organization with the potential to be a key business leader in our community. Josh D'Amigo has been an invaluable member of the YPG as well as an emerging leader in the community. Josh is the YPG parliamentarian and the Ventura Chamber 2018 Connection Breakfast Master of Ceremonies where he has done a phenomenal job keeping our guests on schedule and ensuring that we finish the event on time, month after month, while also making sure to keep us entertained and laughing. As a great entertainer, Josh has also volunteered as MC for the Ventura Police Foundation and at Food Share's Blue Jean Ball. Josh is part of the Real Men Wear Pink, which is a group of business people who raise money for breast cancer awareness. He is on the Program Advisory Committee for SBB College, and part of the Salathon Committee for Caregivers Volunteers Assisting the Elderly. As an employee of Influence Ecology, Josh is making his mark on the Ventura community. He is a friend and constant help to our Ventura Chamber. His humor, perseverance, compassion, and dedication showcase his growing leadership skills. The Ventura Chamber of Commerce is honored to present the Young Professional of the Year Award to Josh D'Amico. Good afternoon, esteemed guests. My name is Jennifer Caldwell of FoodShare, your 2017 Young Professional of the Year. It is my honor and joy to pass along and present the 2018 Young Professional of the Year and Best Doggy Daddy to Josh D'Amigo. I absolutely love this room. Uh, Sandy, in your seat, I met that man, John Patterson, and he asked me, who are you and what do you do? And it changed my life. Uh, John, thank you for inviting me to come be your company and putting up with a clown in a golf cart like me. Um, I have to dedicate this award to two people, and it, it's crazy that they're on stage with me, but John Silva and Stephanie Caldwell, you both talked me off the ledge a week before the Economic Outlook Breakfast, and you put so much equity in me. Uh, please cash out any time. <laughs> and John, I don't even have your cell phone number. <laughs> um, thank you to Discovery Ventura for the party. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Uh, to the VC star, the reporter, and to the Pacific Coast Business Times, thank you for making me a local Venturan. And there's someone that couldn't make it today because two of her employees called in sick. But her name is <laughs> Selena Bracamontes. And I want to share this award with her because she opened her second location while pregnant. I haven't done anything pregnant. <laughs> so if you would, when you see her, let her know that I'm sharing it with her, but it's in my office. Um, thank you so much to the Chamber of Commerce for, for this award, and I, I hope I live up to it. The Ventura Chamber of Commerce Ambassadors are a special group of dedicated members who are out in the community representing the Chamber and Chamber members every day. Ventura Chamber is lucky to have this extraordinary group of hardworking ambassadors, and we are grateful for their commitment and their time. Pat Pothier is a valued ambassador. 
His service to the Chamber and the community truly stood out this past year. Pat jumped into the Ventura Chamber family with enthusiasm and drive. Active in the community as a Veterans Committee Chair of the Ventura Downtown Lions Club, a member of the local American Legion, President Secretary of the Ventura Corvette Club, fundraiser for the Ventura Police Canines, co-chair for the Ventura Chamber Team at the 2019 Relay for Life, and involved with Cal Veterans Home of Ventura. After taking an early retirement from AT&T, Pat became interested in hypnotherapy, and he went into the business so that he could help veterans who were suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. Since then, he has expanded his knowledge to help people stop smoking, lose weight, and live with less stress. As he grows his business, he helps those around him also grow theirs. Pat attends nearly all of our ribbon cuttings, mixers, connection breakfasts, major events, and more. He is part of the Chamber BizConnect group, attends professional development seminars, and generously donates his time and services as a hypnotherapist to fundraising raffles, veterans, and members in the community who are in need. In our recent YPG Ambassador Challenge, Pat led the charge and dedicated more than 47 hours of his time to various Chamber nonprofits, single-handedly. We are so grateful to have him as a part of our team and thank him for his hard work and efforts. The Ventura Chamber of Commerce is honored to present Pat Pothier with the 2018 Ambassador of the Year Award. So it is my pleasure to be able to introduce our Ambassador of the Year, and there is one word this guy doesn't know, and that is no. He is the first one in line willing to help out, pitch in, and do what it takes to make not only our chamber success, but success with a number of the nonprofits that he's involved with. So Pat, congratulations. That's for you. Wow, just watching that makes me tired. I need to go home and take a nap. Let me say this, I am humbled by this award and my heart is full. It's an honor for me to stand before all of you and represent the Ventura Chamber Ambassadors. As uh, Stephanie said, the Ambassadors are a group of individuals who daily represent the very fabric that encompasses the city of Ventura. While it's been said many times before, the special ingredients that are needed to turn a house into a home, the Ambassadors use love and a sense of family to help turn a city into a community and a neighborhood. For example, Ambassadors Rick and Vicki Attaway that you've met already led our Relay for Life team in 2018 and raised over $3,000. Chris Hansen, Ambassador 2017, continued his giving efforts this year by leading our efforts in gathering pet supplies for those fur babies that were displaced by the Thomas Fire for many months on end. Lisa Morris, Don Rosen, Help feed the homeless, our veterans, and first responders. Rick Jeffrey, Carol Pompey, and Adina Trainer helped clean our beaches, provided meals for our met veterans, honored our teachers and principals, and assisted in maintaining one of our local landmarks, the Ventura Pier. There are many more stories just like that, and the ambassadors continue to give back, nurture, and love this community that we call the city of Ventura. And of course, none of this would be possible without the love and support of the Chamber staff, led by Stephanie, Ashley, Angie, Jessica, and Maya. And like I said, it's truly an honor, truly an honor to stand here before you and represent this group of fantastic individuals, this team, this team I am proud to call my friends and my family. And lastly, I want to say thank you to my wife, Junebug, for allowing me to have so much fun. Thank you. Thank you all. Each year we recognize a volunteer who goes above and beyond giving their time, effort on behalf of the chamber. This award has not been previously announced because it's a surprise. Volunteers are the backbone of any chamber and most nonprofits. This year we would like to honor someone who has given countless hours over the years, not just this year, often behind the scenes, 
to make our events successful. This volunteer is actually largely responsible for the success of these events, this award event. He also plays a big role in putting together our monthly connection breakfast and is a true friend of the chamber. He often comes to our rescue when staff has technical difficulties or even if we need to borrow equipment. Rich Sigrist, can I ask you to please join me on stage? Of course he's behind the scenes right now, so keep the applause going as he makes his way up front. He kept asking about this award, you know, what, what did we put there? I'm like, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, we've got it. <laughs> So each year, Rich and his crew give countless hours to the chamber. Their hard work adds to the professionalism and quality that we strive to create at all of our events. Rich, thank you for your time and for being such a good friend to the chamber, for aiding in the success of the Ventura business community. I also thank you for your work as an educator at VASE. I am honored to present Rich Sigrist with the 2018 Volunteer of the Year Award. I didn't volunteer for this. <laughs> uh, boy, I'm not good at this when I do prepare and you do this to me, boy. Uh, oh boy, for all the, all the great things that a lot of people um, at the chamber do do and for me to be uh, appreciated for the few things I do do, this is great. Um, uh, thank you very much. Um, it's, um, uh, I guess uh, I, I need to thank some people for, for, for what I do because the people who support me, uh, my wife, um, I think I, I did, I didn't, I've been so busy do preparing for this. I, I think um, my principal, Carolyn, is in the room someplace back there. Uh, she supports me and what we do for the school. Um, uh, my, my support staff, uh, Tim, who's pushing buttons back there, and uh, uh, he, he helps, uh, you know, kind of uh, hold down the fort when I'm out doing the chamber breakfasts. and. Uh, the other teacher in the room, Kathy, who uh, holds down the classroom, and uh, everybody, everybody back at the school. And so, uh, uh, just real quickly, the um, uh, I mean, the chamber, they they just make the they make you want uh, they make it easy to make you want to help, and that's why I love the chamber. Thanks. Okay, another surprise award. So similar to Volunteer of the Year Award, uh, we have another very special award that is not bestowed annually, uh, yet only when earned through significant contributions and actions to the benefit of an individual, an organization, or community. As the Poinsettia Selection Committee met earlier this year, one thing became abundantly clear. It was a remarkable year. On December 4th, 2017, a wildfire named Thomas forever changed our landscape, our hearts, and our expectations of what can happen. I believe that this tragedy truly brought out the best in our community, Ventura Strong for sure. And it all started with a massive evacuation. Nearly 27,000 of our neighbors, our friends, and our family are residents. In a matter of hours, in the late night hours, our Ventura Police Department and Ventura Fire Department led those evacuation efforts and ensured the safety of each and every one of those 27,000 residents. All evacuated in time, all safe, no one left behind. Emotions still overwhelm me when I think about what happened that night. If you ask them, they will tell you, we're just doing our job. I don't believe that. I completely disagree. I believe they went above and beyond that night and on so many nights that followed. Herculean efforts, true Ventura heroes. With a heart filled with gratitude, it is my honor to present the Hometown Heroes Award to the Ventura Fire Department, 
and the Ventura Police Department. <laughs> Chiefs. These are truly very special awards because they are not things that happen every day. Um, and thank God we don't have a Thomas fire every day. Uh, but if we did, I know that these gentlemen and their teams that they lead would keep us just as safe and protect our city just as well as they did. So congratulations. Okay, well I said two down, one to go, and I didn't know I had two to go. And uh, we're going to need to talk about staffing, Alex, because uh, <laughs> it's looking pretty uneven up here. Um, uh, come on, it was my one chance of the year. Um, no, honestly, and, and I'll, I'll let Ken talk. Obviously, Ken and I have had a very, uh, very busy year, and uh, it, it is. It's difficult to talk about it. Uh, Ken and I were, were obviously in the emergency operations center and going around the town that night. Um, our people, our staffs, the police family and the fire family were the ones honestly really putting it out there. And I know as chiefs of the departments, my biggest concern that night was civilian life and then our first responder lives. And uh, I'll be bluntly honest with you, I thought for sure we lost civilian life that night. I'd written off several just knowing we'd, the sun would rise on the 5th and I wanted to know what the number was going to be. And then I was in, in a lot of fear. That was the one moment I had that night alone in my office was I just actually went in my office and sat down and just, please, don't let this be too bad. And I thought people wearing badges that put the badges between you and danger were going to lose their lives that night because they were going to push harder and they were going to go farther than Ken and I would ever be comfortable with them doing, but it was their house, it was their backyard, it was their neighbor. So when, when the sun came up on the 5th, that was my moment. I talked to my deputy chief at the command center. And uh, in our city, in the fire, the first night, we were actually coming up with zeros. And everyone was accounted for, civilian and first responder. And that was my victory moment. And I know we lost a lot of property that night, and we're still rebuilding. We're just getting that started. But for Ken and I to have everyone in the city here and not burying our citizens or a first responder, that's the greatest victory I'll ever feel, and that was because the community came together and the community responded to this incident as much as we did. And I shared with the city manager and the mayor of Santa Rosa, who suffered a fire eight weeks earlier, that if nothing else, the silver lining of the loss in Northern California last year saved lives in Ventura on December 4th. And uh, I, I still stick with that, that they saved lives because it brought the awareness of what a fire could do to a community. And I think the community responded to the few people we had out there that night. So it made a difference. You all made a difference. And we've all rebuilt together. So this is extremely humbling. And I accept this on behalf of every badge in the entire country. Law enforcement, military, fire. Thank you very, very much for the recognition. And hopefully no more surprises. Thank you. <laughs> So, so I was fortunate to travel with a posse here <laughs> at, uh, and had no idea this award was coming, but Assistant Chief Darren Schindler, Commander Rick Murray, Sergeant John Fernell, and Officer Jim Brittle, who we've been meeting later, were part of the team uh, that, that, that came into work to respond that night. We had about a dozen officers on duty when we were given the task of evacuating, uh, to beginning with Clearpoint and on to Londo and, and then further west. And... Uh, it was a daunting task, and quite frankly, I was at the command post, and I made some calls to, to Darren, and, and uh, they put the resources we had together and uh, brought in more resources and were able to work with the other first responders to get it done, and it, and it was an amazing job. Um, but it, they didn't do it alone, and I have watched um, hours of body-worn video footage from the 
heroic act of the Ventura police officers in, in finding people that were located or the, finding people that need to be located and to, helping to evacuate. But I saw the neighbors in the community coming together and helping. And uh, that was how I were successful because we are a community that cares about each other. We work together to get it done. So thank you on behalf of the police department. I don't know what it says about me that I was the one chosen to honor the brewery, but nonetheless, I'm happy to be here this morning honoring the latest addition to Ventura's craft beer scene, Leashless Brewing. Carpinteria native John Gonzalez has spent the majority of his life pursuing ways to promote sustainability, living and surfing close to home. Two master's degrees and 10 plus years living around the world later, he finally found a way. Located in downtown Ventura, Leashless Brewing is a certified organic brewery rooted in the idea of being an environmentally and sustainably minded company. In fact, Leashless owner John Gonzalez states that we live on a planet with a finite amount of resources which we can utilize for our benefit and for that of all living things. And nature has given us the tools to live and excel in our environment while minimizing the impact of our actions on our environment. John believes that being an organic producer of craft beer is the basic foundation for promoting sustainability. His goal is to use leashless brewing organic craft beer products to promote sustainability, one glass of delicious organic craft beer at a time. As a company, Leashless Brewing continues to incorporate as many practices, technologies, and ways of thinking that help to achieve growth while minimizing their impact on the environment. Leashless Brewing is a valuable and active member of the Ventura community who supports multiple nonprofits and is constantly giving back to the city they love. His innovative, forward thinking regarding the environment sets John a standard for what it is to be a green business. The City of Ventura and Ventura Chamber of Commerce are honored to present Leashless Brewing with the 2018 Environmental Excellence Award. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Matt LeVere. I have the privilege of serving as this city's deputy mayor, and uh, it is my honor today to present the 2018 Environmental Excellence Award to John Gonzalez and Leashless Brewing. On behalf of the brewery and all who make up Team Leashless, I'd like to thank the city and the chamber for this amazing award. As a certified organic brewery, we do what we do because we think that's the right way to do it. Um, it's what we believe in. It's what we value. Uh, as Matt said, we're using organic craft beer to change people's habits. Um, we truly believe that businesses have a responsibility to demonstrate environmental stewardship in a manner that can motivate our fans, our customers, our colleagues to do the same. And so we're humbled and grateful that what we do and how we do what we do has gone unnoticed. We're really grateful and excited, a bit nervous, but very excited to be receiving this award and join the ranks of those who have come before us. And I want to take this opportunity to give a challenge to everyone here who has a business, who makes decisions in the business they work at, to find a way next year in 2019 to adopt new uh, environmentally friendly practices. Our customers, our clients, they're waiting for it. We live in a really beautiful town that deserves it, and uh, why not start next year? So with that, uh, we are throwing an after party tonight, starting at 6.30. <laughs> Everyone here is welcome. Live music starts at 7. We have a few new organic craft beers coming out. We'll be celebrating alongside our friends Ventura Bike Hub and uh, all of you. And uh, we'll probably release a few things that no one knows about. Uh, and it's just what we do, but thank you once again for this amazing award, and uh, cheers. Hello. I am proud to present to you Officer Jim Brittle as the Ventura Police Department Officer of the Year for 2018. 
Jim began his policing career in 1986 as a deputy with the Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Department, where he was recognized as the Rookie Deputy of the Year. In 1989, Jim applied and was hired as a lateral police officer with the Ventura Police Department. Officer Brittle's tenure has included assignments in patrol, field training officer, SWAT, major crime sexual assault detective, and the gang violence suppression team. Jim has received numerous awards over his career, including Officer of the Year in 2004, SWAT Operator of the Year, the Right Stuff Award for rescuing sleeping occupants from a downtown Ventura apartment fire, and the Medal of Valor from the Peace Officers Association of Ventura County. As the recruitment and hiring of qualified police officer candidates has become an increasingly more difficult challenge for the policing profession, we saw a need to assign an officer to lead and champion our efforts. We called upon Officer Brittle to take the challenge, and his work has been tremendous. In the last two and a half years, Jim has served as the point person for the initial evaluation and background of dozens of Ventura Police Officer candidates. Jim has demonstrated a knack for identifying the top candidates who have the necessary personal traits, integrity, desire to protect and serve our community, and values that mimic our department culture. He took the responsibility of identifying our future police officers very seriously and realized the value of his work and the final legacy he would leave for the Ventura Police Department. Officer Brittle is a veteran officer out of Central Casting who has earned the respect and admiration of his peers and supervisors. Jim has achieved excellence in each assignment and role he has served during his career. The Ventura Police Department and our community is a better place because of Officer Jim Brittle. After more than 30 years of a career at the Ventura Police Department, Officer Brittle will be retiring later this month. Please join me now in thanking Officer Brittle for his service, sacrifice, and a career well done as we recognize him as the Ventura Police Officer of the Year. Well, uh, I want to thank the chamber for uh, their support of the, of the police department in the city and, and all of you. And uh, this whole story kind of starts with the support that we had that when, at, from our community in the chamber, which allowed Measure O to pass and uh, allowed us to begin to, to staff the police department and hire uh, officers back to help protect this community. And in that, we needed a competitive advantage. It's a tough environment out there. Not a lot of people want to want to be police officers with all the violence going on in the community, and then we've got to, you know, get through uh, competing with their other agencies for hiring the police officers. So we needed a competitive advantage to, to bring in officers to begin to, to hire the officers to staff up. And uh, we talked about it, and we decided that competitive, competitive advantage is Officer Jim Brittle, and he's done a great job, and I'm pretty sorry to see him. He's, he retires a week from today, a week from tomorrow, actually. So... Uh, and uh, we'll be sorry to see him go, but he served this community well. And uh, Jim Brittle, congratulations. I guess I'll start off by saying uh, thank you to the chamber. I, I'm very uh, humbled and uh, honored by this award. Um, I've had a fantastic 32-year uh, uh, law enforcement career. As the chief said, it uh, comes to an end uh, next week. And when I was asked to do this assignment, uh, I embraced it as I've done every single assignment I've ever worked at the Ventura PD. And uh, I look at my role as a uh, background investigator, as that as a uh, gatekeeper into the uh, Ventura Police Department to uh, look at our candidates and determine their suitability for employment. And uh, there's no uh, bigger role than a background investigator because ultimately if these uh, young men and women pass the academy and become full-fledged police officers, they're out here serving our community, uh, serving you. And uh, that's a tremendous responsibility, uh, particularly to rule out the undesirables that aren't uh, uh, up to the par to serve the city. Um, 32 years of law enforcement, 28 of that have been here. And I am extremely grateful for the opportunity to have been hired 28 years ago to serve this fantastic community, the community where I met my lovely wife, Sherry. Can you stand up?
but to also uh, have our kids in this city and raise them and educate them in the city of Ventura. Uh, I am humbled by this award. Thank you so very much. This is usually the point in time in the presentation where some shenanigans occur between me and Mike Tracy as Mike tries to be proclaimed the Ventura Police Officer of the Year. Well, this year, there's no shenanigans necessary. I want to recognize and thank Mike Tracy for his service the last nine years as a council member in the city of Ventura. Mike proudly served the police department from 1975 to 2004, where he ultimately retired as chief of police. For the last nine years, he again dedicated his service to the citizens of Ventura and his leadership as a council member. And I'm asking you to join me in recognizing Mike and thanking him for his service. Thanks, Mike. Colby Morrison joined the Ventura Fire family in March 2011 as a firefighter paramedic. At the time, I was assigned as the battalion chief in charge of training. So I had the unique opportunity of being alongside Colby throughout his demanding 18-week recruit academy. Colby was an intense figure from the start. Coming from a firefighting family, it was clear he knew what it took to succeed and had obviously prepared himself for the career ahead of him. His work ethic, commitment to the department, adaptability, and drive to excel are all unmatched. Colby displays so much pride being a Ventura firefighter. As often happens in the fire service, roles went full circle, and now Colby is an integral part of training new recruits in the academy. In September 2017, Colby was promoted to engineer paramedic. He is a valued member of our specialized urban search and rescue team, part of our hook and ladder truck company. He has been deployed to many of the major fires across the state and trained department personnel in critical areas such as firefighter survival in dangerous environments and the latest emergency escape methods from various types of structures. While all of this may sound impressive, it cannot match Colby's most dangerous and challenging responsibility being a great dad and teaming up with his wife to raise three girls all under the age of five. And you thought firefighting was stressful. As fire chief, it is truly a gift when a person like Colby joins your fire family. It is a privilege and an honor to have him on our team and Ventura is fortunate to have him protecting our community around the clock. Please join me in congratulating engineer paramedic Colby Morrison, Ventura's 2018 Firefighter of the Year. Okay, so you have heard from me way too much today. Some of it was planned, some of it was not. Um, Colby is actually living a very dangerous life as we speak. Uh, they are all at home ill. So um, three kids, wife, and Colby. Uh, he wrote an email and said, I am so sorry. I'm going to completely mess things up tomorrow. I said, no problem, I've got it. So um, on behalf of Colby Morrison, his sick children and his sick wife and himself, uh, he's very honored for the, uh, for the award, and I will make sure to get this to him with some hand sanitizer in about a week. <laughs> so um, I am not going to be sick this holiday. I didn't get a December last December. So um, thank you very much. And again, uh, we really appreciate the recognition from the chamber and from the community. Thanks again. Ryan Sequeira has lived his entire life in Ventura with his parents and his younger brother. He attended Mound Elementary, Balboa Middle School, and is currently a senior at Foothill Technology High School, where he consistently challenges himself by taking advanced placement and honors courses while maintaining a 4.7 GPA. Ryan is the captain of the Foothills debate team and is a returning player in the Varsity Boys golf team. Ryan is a member of the Foothill Technology High School Bioscience Academy, which he credits in helping him decide on the major of biology that he intends to pursue in college. He has narrowed his choices for college to Caltech, UC Berkeley, and Johns Hopkins. He enjoys playing the piano and reading in his free time. His English teacher and speech and debate coach, Mrs. Kindred, described him as 
a young man of impressive intellect, humility, and diligence. His Bioscience Academy teacher, Mika Anderson, describes him in a letter of recommendation for Caltech by saying, without a doubt, Ryan is a very capable young man. He is intellectually curious with a natural flair for combining his interests in the areas of science with computer science. His current goals are to pursue a career path as a data scientist. Ryan expressed, I want to be at the forefront of new technological advances. These careers hold great importance in being able to respond to the natural world. I admire the creativity and the problem-solving skills present in these careers, and I hope to push the scope of these fields. In the most rigorous and competitive environment, Ryan will continue to thrive and impress. The Ventura Unified School District and the Ventura Chamber of Commerce are honored to present a 2018 Student of the Year Award to Ryan Sequera. Good afternoon, my name is Jeff Davis. I'm the Assistant Superintendent of Human Resources in the Ventura Unified School District. Superintendent Cresswell couldn't be with us today. He has a flooded garage. I think you kind of figured it out anyway because I have a lot less hair than he does anyway. So with, with uh, no further ado, it's my pleasure to present the 2018 VUSD Student of the Year from Foothill Technology High School, Ryan Sequera. First and foremost, I would like to thank the Chamber of Commerce for having this event and allowing us to commemorate all these people in our community. I'd also like to uh, thank Ventura Unified School District for giving me this award and uh, allowing me to represent our school district. I know many other students could have just as easily been here on stage uh, instead of me, and I am greatly honored that you have chosen me today. I'd like to thank a few people in the back who have come here with me, my parents who consistently pushed me, uh, my brother was not here today, but he always makes my life fun. <laughs> uh, my counselor, Mrs. Vega, who has allowed me to navigate this really complex school system. I would be totally lost without her. <laughs> Wait, there's more. Uh, Mr. Bova, my principal, who nominated me for this award and uh, keeps her school a safe and an uh, accomplished place. I also saw Mr. Tyner, my elementary school teacher, uh, principal back in the, uh, one of the back tables. I'd like to thank him for my strong foundation uh, in fourth and fifth grade. And I'd like to thank my teachers for giving me these skills and knowledge that I need to consistently apply myself to all of my endeavors, be it academic or extracurricular or anything else. Lastly, I'd like to thank my friends who make this journey worthwhile and uh, it's, it's really nice knowing that I'm not going through this journey alone with them. Uh, thank you all. Tia Kobe enrolled at Pacific High School in the fall of 2017 as a quiet and cautious junior. Upon her transfer to Pacific, she was deficient 35 credits had significant attendance challenges, and had received multiple attendance letters. In her first quarter at Pacific High School, Tia earned full credit in all of her courses. Since this time, she has increased her effort and not, has not only met the minimum academic expectations of earning 15 credits per quarter, but has actually averaged 20 to 25 credits per quarter. Tia is now completely back on track academically, in fact, she is ahead in credits, and as a senior, she could graduate early. In addition to Tia's academic growth, Tia has grown socially and has proved to be a model student leader on campus. Tia is active in ASB and was selected to be on the school's Youth Activity Council. Tia stays after school for the extended learning activities and regularly leads activities in cooking, arts, and crafts. She is also a student representative for the School Site Council Committee. Tia is not only active in school, but she is also very active in her community. Tia regularly attends youth group through her church and volunteers at Ventura Avenue Library several hours per week. Tia is devoted to her family and cares deeply about others. She is generous with her compliments to her peers and regularly helps her teachers 
and school principal with office and organizational tasks. Perhaps the best way to describe Tia Kobe is thoughtful, goal-driven, and resilient. She has endured significant personal hardships, yet despite the many barriers she has faced, Tia has persevered with dignity and determination. Each quarter at Pacific High School, Tia grew in confidence, poise, and strength. Her grit and resolve are truly inspiring. She has been a model of courage for her family, friends, peers, and community. The Ventura Unified School District and the Ventura Chamber of Commerce are honored to present a 2018 Student of the Year Award to Tia Kobe. It is my pleasure to present the 2018 VUSD Student of the Year from Pacific High School, Tia Kobe. Standing up here receiving this award is such an honor. There are some people in the back I would like to thank, including Ms. Elliott, Ms. Menares, and my mom. Being at Pacific has really truly made me a better person and has taught me so much confidence. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> thank you guys. Mike Gennaro, a graduate with a BA from Point Loma Nazarene University and an MA from California Lutheran University, has served De Anza Academy of Technology and the Arts, otherwise known as Data, and Ventura Unified for 30 years. He is a dedicated educator who strives for the success of all of his students. He works hard to engage students with well-developed lessons. He collaborates with staff and is trusted by staff and students alike. Mike teaches three periods of AVID to seventh and eighth grade students. Additionally, he teaches two periods of social studies intervention to some of our most needy students. He is driven to help his students develop the skills to become successful, and he encourages them to take risks and be proud of their accomplishments. In addition to being a masterful teacher, Mike coordinates extracurricular and enrichment opportunities each year, he organizes several field trips to university and cultural events for his students and Data's English learners. Mike also serves as the site coordinator and chaperone for the eighth grade trip to Washington, D.C. Furthermore, Mike has organized and coached the boys' basketball team for the last several years, and as of two years ago, has added girls' basketball. Mike Gennaro has spent the last 30 years as a valuable educator serving the well-being and growth of Ventura's children. He is an important and long-term staple in our community. The Ventura Unified School District and the Ventura Chamber of Commerce are honored to present the 2018 Teacher of the Year Award to Mike Gennaro. It is my distinct pleasure to present the 2018 VUSD Teacher of the Year Award to one of our shining stars, Mr. Michael Gennaro. Well, thank you, Chamber of Commerce. Um, I don't know what's going on back at school, but I'm getting calls that my sub didn't show up, so I don't have a lot of time here. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, I've been at middle school for 30 years, and some people think that's a little crazy. Uh, my wife thinks I do really well there because I have the maturity level of a 12-year-old, according to her. <laughs> but there are amazing things going on in Ventura Unified School District every single day. I work with people who inspire me and encourage me and support me to be at my best. And, and teaching's tough, and you need that. But... De Anza Middle School, if you ever want to see what's going on there at De Anza Academy, we have some amazing teachers teaching STEM, doing amazing things in the library, doing incredible lessons in math, uh, people who really collaborate and support each other. We have great leadership with Hector Guerrero. He paid me to say that. <laughs> but I've been inspired by so many people through the years uh, to be at my best, and uh, I just want to thank the Chamber for this award, and this is, this is an amazing event. I've never talked to this many people in my life before, so... 
Thank you. Five hundred five North Ventura Avenue was originally built in 1937 by Emilio Langomarsino as a Safeway prototype. These store buildings were constructed by Safeway stores throughout Southern California and were the predecessor to the modern grocery store that we are all so familiar with. In June of 2016, the property was acquired by Chad Caldwell, a native Venturan and local businessman, and his investor team. 7-Eleven stores have been looking for a new location in Ventura for several years, and they approached the new owner with an offer to lease the front half of the building. A new family-oriented laundromat made sense as the co-tenant for the back half of the building. The goal was to provide a new, high-quality, family-friendly facility to serve the nearby neighborhood. The project design team was Main Street Architects, with Jim Vinci as the structural engineer, and Apex General Contractors was the general on the job. Chad Caldwell and his team's primary goal was to clean up the area and create something on the west side that the community and owners could take pride in. 7-Eleven opened their doors January 2018 with Olus Laundry scheduled to open in late November. Chad Caldwell and his team took a space that was outdated and run down and turned it into a charmingly restored building that offers the community a clean, beautiful, convenience store in West Ventura. The opening of a family laundromat will also be a valuable addition to Ventura Avenue. The Ventura Chamber of Commerce is honored to present the 2018 Jewel Key Award to 505 North Ventura Avenue. It's not very often that you can say a 7-Eleven is beautiful, but this is really true. If you haven't had the opportunity yet to go by on Ventura Avenue and take a look at this property, you definitely should, and you will, you will see why they are the Jewel Key Award for 2018. Congratulations, Chad Caldwell. All right, well, Tia, I'm nervous too, so don't worry. Um, so I just do want to thank the Chamber. Um, truth be told, I didn't know what the Jewel Key Award was until I had won it. Um, so, you know, I, I have a saying in life that I, I like very much, and it's that it's better to be lucky than good, and this held true twofold. Um, the project team that Stephanie announced, uh, I walked into Nick Deitch's office at Main Street Architects, and as soon as I mentioned 7-Eleven, he was looking for the nearest exit. Um, so I wrestled him back to the table. We finally agreed to do a project, and thanks to him, Juan Uihara and Kevin McDonald, it came out great. And uh, secondly, thank you to my folks, Jim and Christy, and my wife, Una, for taking this bit of a wild ride with me. So thank you all. We are very proud to introduce Jim Monahan as Ventura Chamber of Commerce 2018 Citizen of the Year. In Jim's own words, I love Ventura and I'm proud of it. I have worked hard to make it a great place to work and live. I'm not afraid to make hard decisions or to fight for the people and businesses of Ventura. Jim has lived up to these words for the entire 41 years of his public service. We've all known Jim our entire lives. We were all born in Ventura Avenue area. Jim is a Korean War veteran, native of Ventura, and graduated of Ventura High School and Ventura Junior College, and a father of four, all raised in Ventura. Jim and I went to kindergarten together at E.P. Foster Elementary. Jim has served the citizens of Ventura as mayor and city council member first running in 1977 and winning on a recount by one vote. In the years that we have known him, we have admired and respected his open door policy, making public his phone number so he could be easily reached. This I work for you attitude continued through his 41 years on the council. The people of the avenue knew this well and frequented his office at American Welding founded by his father in 1928. 
He made the business grow and worked on many jobs around the world and at home. Jim loves the Avenue and continues to have an office there, but he works for all the interns in all neighborhoods. Jim loved being a council member and worked hard to make sure that the Ventura quality of life was safe from overcrowding and the Ventura's limited resources remain secure for the future. He also worked hard to make sure that the atmosphere for promoting and, and encouraging new and existing business was a goal of each of his terms. Different council members have had different goals. Jim remained steadfast as a voice of business and has first-hand knowledge of the difficulty of making payroll. All of the work that goes into running a business, he felt that the city hall should run like a business. Jim also cares deeply that all Ventura citizens receive the service they need. He worked diligently for the Senior Center on the Avenue and the Veterans Home and the Boys and Girls Club. Without Jim's diligent work, these projects wouldn't be the success they are today. Jim's support of the police and fire has been constant as has his support of keeping a, a well-maintained city and caring for all of our natural resources. Jim is the founder of the St. Patrick's Day Parade, as well as the program that put up our American flag that fly during appropriate American holidays throughout Ventura. He is currently serving as chairman of Ventura Regional Sanitation District, which runs and operates our Ventura Watershed Landfill Hole in landfill. He has also served on many special committees of the Ventura City Council, from dogs and cats to water. The list of Jim's accomplishments and the many organizations he served is very long, and I won't attempt to list them for the fear of missing one. And his awards throughout the years shows the depth of career. Ventura Board of Realtors, 1988 Citizens of the Year. Southern California Motion Picture, Council Citizens of the Year. Humanitarian Award, Arthritis Foundation, Distinguished Service Award. Los Angeles Police Department, Distinguished Service Citizenships Award. Service to the Youth Award, from the Boys and Girls Club of America. The General George Washington Excellence in Leadership Award. Americanism Award from the Elks Lodge, 1430. Vietnam Veterans of Ventura Council, recognition of the moving wall. And this is only a partial list. Jim is a tireless advocate, volunteer, and great friend to this council. The Ventura Chamber of Commerce is honored to present the 2018 Citizens Year Award to Jim Monahan. Congratulations, Jim. Thank you, thank you guys. 80 year friendships are pretty rare. And I have to thank my bosses for doing this video because they were not very excited about it, but they love Jim. So here we are. My name is Nan Drake and I was privileged to receive the Citizen of the Year Award last year. So it's now my duty to pass that on to him. But first, um, I'm very happy that uh, somebody said St. Patrick's Day Parade because that is one of Jim's loves of his life. He might be retiring uh, from the council, but he's not retiring from the St. Patrick's Day Parade. We won't let him. He is our founder and our leader. So uh, also, uh, I'm so glad that the American flag is behind me because um, this city would not have the benefit of flags at every patriotic holiday without Jim Monahan's leadership his coercion in getting tons of volunteers to put them up. So it's just um, not, today is not a goodbye for Jim Monahan. I hope you all realize that. It's probably he's gonna go on to bigger and better things. But before I step down, I do wanna recognize the fact that we have most of our St. Patrick's Day Parade Committee here to honor Jim. So I'd like them to stand. St. Patrick's Day guys, stand up.
And I'd also like to announce that our Grand Marshal for the 2019 parade will be guess. You got it. Jim Monahan. Wow. What can I say? I think it's all been said. <laughs> I want to congratulate all the winners today and all the comments that have been made by you, the audience here, that uh, they deserve, especially the first responders and the city staff. It's, uh, it's, been, it's my privilege to receive this honor from the chamber. And um, I've re rewritten this comments or speech, really. It's not a speech, but what I was planning to say about four times since I walked up here. So much has already been said that it's, I don't want to repeat it. I, um, I want to thank Glenda, my better half, who's had to put up with all this. <laughs> I also wanted to introduce my, my big sister. She's older than me, that's why I say big. But <laughs> um, she's a former v Miss Ventura County and she was a former Ventura College homecoming queen. <laughs> and she was the first one ever flown in by a helicopter to land on the Poli Street Stadium at Ventura High School, where the college was at the time. So that was a, a, a first ever. I don't think you've ever done it since. <laughs> uh, I don't think they had a permit for that, <laughs> that term, so they never allowed him to do it again. But, um, and also with her is my, my, uh, my niece, uh, Kathleen Hatfield, and uh, my nephew, Richard uh, Hatfield, who is a, a, a movie actor of, uh, working in many, many different television sets. And uh, we see him all the time on different um, it, programs. My daughter, Laura, is a graduate of Cal Poly, and she couldn't make it today. She just had breast surgery, and she's down with the flu. Her husband is here, Jay. He is the, uh, I, would, I, I would like to call he's the chef, but he, I'm, I'm, I'm going a little bit further than he would want me to. Uh, he's with the, um, uh, what is that, um, Madonna Inn in Los Santos Obispo. So he's with the food service manager in Madonna Inn, and I'm very proud of him. He's been very successful. Also, um, Todd Cardona, my uh, Glenda's son. Uh, also, a, uh, a Holly grad. Uh, he's a self-employed, started his own business and doing very well. And uh, he was one of the fire survivors. He lives in Oak Park area, which the fire was surrounding their home. And uh, he had to move out for about a week and uh, let, the, let the county fire and people take care of his property. They um, did a good job. He's one of the ones that was fortunate enough to survive. I want to thank Stephanie, Nan, and the chamber, and the chamber board, for all that you've done, and the Harrisons for their comments. It didn't cost me too much, <laughs> but it was, it was good. Also, I wanted to do um, um, the, one of the things that probably wasn't mentioned was, Chuck uh, Leathon is here. Chuck, can you stand up? There he is, he's my boss. You guys didn't know I had a real job. <laughs> We've been in the uh, pipeline business, pipeline connections with Coppell Pipeline Services, who bought my company when we retired about 12 years ago. And Chuck made it here today. He had a hard time getting here, but he made it. Chuck, I want to thank you for being here and your sticking to through. I don't know how you're going to get home. But <laughs> it was, it was a, quite a, a, a tough situation he had to go through this morning. With that, I think I've thanked everybody. I, I just want to say that... Uh, the, the, I would like to thank again all the recipients and all the comments that were made because this has been a wonderful program. And I appreciate you considering me to be the, that person. I, I feel that everybody else deserves it as well. So I hope someday that you all get to share this honor. Is there anybody here that wasn't recognized today? <laughs> <laughs> I want you to raise your hand. <laughs> we'll make sure it happens. Anyway. Thank you very much.
So please join me in, in giving all of our recipients one more big round of applause. And once again, a huge thank you to all of our sponsors. We certainly cannot have put on this event without your continued support. I'd like to give a special thank you to an incredible group of women with whom I'm lucky enough to work every single day, my staff, uh, for their hard work, not only at this event, but all year long. Uh, their effort and energy goes into our chamber, and um, I think you feel that in all of the interactions that you have with us. So Angela Brinkoff, who's hiding behind stage right here, making sure everyone gets up and down appropriately. Angela, round of applause. Ashley Pope, who is in the back there, along with, <laughs> along with Jessica Perkins. Thank you so much, ladies. You make my job a, a distinct pleasure. Thank you. I'd also like to thank Dina, who is roaming around taking photos. Thank you, Dina, for documenting today's event with all the great photographs. Those photos will be up on the Chamber Facebook page in just a few days. Um, I'd also like to thank Lunar's Production Services for providing all of our staging and audiovisual, as well as Ventura Adult Continuing Education for all of the uh, production today. I'd also like to thank the incredible staff here at the Four Points by Sheraton. Uh, this event typically is at the Marriott, but Shannon called us and said, hey, you know, we're, our renovation isn't quite done, so we can get you in at the, at the Sheraton. We said, great, and they jumped at the chance and really made it work. So let's give them a huge round of applause. Thank you so much. And most of all, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for being here today, for supporting our award recipients, and for supporting our chamber. I think our community is stronger because of that support, and we will continue to work on your behalf all year long. So congratulations to our award winners. Uh, I hope that you will um, take this and display it proudly, and we'll be back here next year with a whole new group of winners. I've already been getting lobbied by a few people about who should be in for next year, and you can certainly have a part in that. We do uh, basically select our award recipients through nominations not only from our members, but our community. So watch for those nominations as they come out. It's really important because we know a lot of what's going on in the city, but collectively we hear so much more. So keep us informed about who's doing the great work and we'll be back here again next year. Lastly, I want to say um, these poinsettias that are in the, the centers of everyone's table are going home with one of you lucky folks at your table today. We're not gonna do the giveaway like we do at the Connection Breakfast, but I will say whoever's name starts Closest to the beginning of the alphabet, congratulations, the poinsettia is yours. So thank you again and have a prosperous 2019. And if all of the award recipients can please make your way back up front, we have a, we need to take a photo, group photo.